What's going on, FA Nation? Happy Thursday, and welcome to another edition of the NBA DFS Injury Report for Thursday's three-game main slate over on DraftKings and FanDuel. Pretty extensive injury report for just three games, um, but before we get into things, head over to FantasyAlarm.com, head out to the pricing page, and use code NBA50 for 50% off your first six months of a subscription here at Fantasy Alarm. That is code NBA50 for 50% off your first six months. Let's dive into the report. At point guard, Kevin Porter Jr. of the Houston Rockets is listed questionable. He has knee soreness. This would be the second game he will miss all year if he is in fact ruled out. John Wall is listed questionable with a knee. He is on the second leg of a back-to-back. He did not play on Wednesday, so be on the lookout. He generally sits one leg of back-to-backs. Victor Oladipo from Miami Heat is probable. He made a, his debut at the last time out. 18 minutes solid. We should see those minutes rise because backup point guard Gabe Vincent uh, is already ruled out for the second straight game for the Miami Heat. Tyler Hero over at the shooting guard position is probable. He's been dealing with an ankle sprain that he's been playing through consistently. Devin Vassell for the San Antonio Spurs. Maybe the biggest news of the slate. He is listed doubtful. Um, He has knee soreness. Max Struess for the Miami Heat is listed probable. He's been playing through this shoulder injury. Contavious Caldwell Pope also playing through an injury. He is listed probable for the Denver Nuggets. He played through his wrist injury, gave us 30 minutes the last time out. Josh Richardson, the final shooting guard on the list uh, of the San Antonio Spurs, he is listed probable as well with an ankle. At small forward, Kawhi Leonard, we have to think, is not going to play. He hasn't played a back-to-back yet, um, but nothing official. We'll list him as questionable due to the back-to-back here. Uh, Josh Hart expected to return from his two-game absence with the ankle injury. Norman Powell is listed questionably. He has missed four straight games for the Clippers. Could make it five on Thursday. Finally, Doug McDermott expected to return after missing two straight games due to an ankle injury. At power forward, Jimmy Butler is listed questionable for conditioning. He sat out last game after playing the front end of a back-to-back. Marcus Morris has a non-COVID illness for the Clippers. He is listed questionable. He did not play on Wednesday. Kata bates up for the San Antonio Spurs and Jeremy Sohan both ruled out. bates up has a foot injury. Sohan has a quad injury. This will be Sohan's fourth straight game. And the only notable injury at center, Yaka Pertl, going to miss another game for the San Antonio Spurs. Except expect Zach Collins to draw another start. That'll do it for today's injury report. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up over on YouTube. And we'll be back for Friday's injury report. Catch you guys tomorrow.